greetings, 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 everyone. It's Lorez, um, your favorite endoscopy technician. I just finished up my last case for the day, and it was uh, both upper and lower. And I'm going to go over how to properly clean the scope. Let me go ahead and turn it around. Okay, so right now, I have the upper scope attached to the leak tester. You connect your leak tester to your scope so it can detect any leaks that may be in the insertion tube of the scope, which is this end, or whether or not your dials are defective or your picture button may be um, overused and split. So the scope is um, submerged fully under water so that the leak testing can be done properly. Uh, you agitate your knobs so that your distal end can move to open up the sheet in case there are any hidden cracks, splits, cuts, pokes, because that sometimes can happen from the tools or just wear and tear, okay? So this scope is good. I'm going to go ahead and turn the leak tester on, release the pressure. You hear that? If you do not turn that off and release the pressure, then this will stay inflated. And once you um, place this in a machine, the tip of it can definitely explode. So you must be sure to deflate. Release the air from your scope. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the leak tester. Place it there. And then brush my scope. We have three different um, openings that we want to brush. We have the biopsy channel, and then you have your suction, which will go straight back, and then down, which is another um, part of the suction channel that connects coming down and around through the scope. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that. And I am also doing this with one hand because the other hand I'm using to hold the, the camera. And also remember to keep your scope submerged underwater as you insert your brush. And then you'll see it come out the distal end. Pull it back. You'll see that tip of that brush that's going through. I'm going to clean that off and pull it back through. This is an upper scope, so you're really not going to see mud. Sometimes you might see blood, but um, sometimes you don't see anything at all. If you happen to see anything coming out of the tip of your scope, then you need to do a second brushing to make sure it's all clear before you move forward. So I moved up to the suction end, brushing that through as well. The brush has come out. You make sure it's free of debris. Clean that off. Pull it back. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, so pardon the the noise. Um, pulling it back, 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 and it's out. No debris, and it's clear. Okay, so the last insertion for this one is going to be straight back. So let me see if I can manage that with one hand. So the first two brushes came out, this tip, 
This last one, going straight back, it's going to come out here where your suction is connected. I'm going to go ahead and push that through. Pushing, pushing. I think it's ready to come out. Yep, there it is. It's free. Clean that off. Okay. So now I can pull that back. Alright, people. Again, pardon the noise. Okay, now I have my button. I'm gonna Biopsy channel button. Wanna brush through there. Let me use the larger end though. So I'm gonna brush through here. Make sure it's free. And bottom. And these are reusable. A lot of people are using disposable, one time only use, but we still use the reusable. So I'll drop that one. And then this is your suction. So you're going to go in. There's a hole. You pull that back. You can see that hole. So you have to clean that as well. See? Go through there like that. And then the top as well. Make sure there's no debris. Okay. And your air water channel button. There's usually nothing much here it's either. You're opening on this one is at the top. So you just want to brush around all of that. So now the brushing part is complete. And go ahead and wipe it down with your sponge. Place uh, some detergent, enzymatic, into the water. Go into.